sheet. Tom McDonald. Here. Anita Matt. Present. Jennifer Finley. Here. Jim Molitor. Here. Carol Langford. Here. Len Tutis. Bing Matt. Here. Ellie Bundy. Martin Charlo. Present. Mike Delson. I'm here. James Dale Sr. Start us out with the prayer. Creator, we give thanks today for our gathering. To give us guidance in our decisions and representation of our people. We pray that all those people out there in the world have a safe place to live and food to eat. They're living in peace. We especially give our prayers to those people in Ukraine. We want to give um, special prayers to those that have lost loved ones that are suffering. And we do all these things in your name. Amen. Okay, we have our minutes from March 17th for your review and consideration. Yeah, go ahead, Nita. On page three of eight, where I made it the comment that the council had no idea what was going on with the tribal health, health department and that we need to start having monthly meetings again, I wanted to include that um, it would it could keep us updated on services being provided. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> Due to a kind of a scheduling snafu, it says on the minutes that um, my district or Carol and I and your district meeting um, was going to be next or tomorrow. Um, I think that conflicts with Anita's meeting down in Dixon. So I'm going to respectfully um, reschedule mine. I, unless I'm going to double check for the last Wednesday of the month. If that works, I will try that. But I haven't even looked at a calendar yet, so um, just want to. Uh, can I just strike that whole thing, please? So, Mr. Chair, in regard to that, um, is there a way that maybe we could all kind of pick a a time of the month so we don't conflict because it's good to go to other people's district meetings too. Good, Martin. Yeah, I mean, we kind of the standing that I've done is the second or, you know, if you do it, just pick a second or third week or first, whatever. Um, I, we worked with Charmel and you know, the people that regularly have them, I think it's pretty easy to work with them. It's just outliers. Like I haven't done one for quite a while, so for at least a couple months. So um, I'm just trying to work around schedules too. So I don't want to over overstep. Any other thoughts on that? Well, I will. Try to look through Martin and maybe go with the, the week of the 20th, you know, that first Wednesday in that 20th week and make it kind of standing that way people can work around it. I hate to have you not have yours. I think it'll, it'll work out. I'll have it the last week of the whatever day of the month. So don't worry.
any other edits to the minutes? Motion to approve the the March seventeenth minutes with additions and corrections. Motion by Anita to approve the March seventeenth minutes with corrections and additions. Seconded by Martin. Any further discussions? Seeing none, all those in favor, show hands. Unanimous. Next, we have our um, draft agenda. Any other additions to the agenda? I have a follow up at the end of the day. At the end of the day? Okay. We'll add that to the end of the day. Anything else? entertain a motion to approve the agenda. Motion by Bing, second by Martin. All those in favor, unanimous. Okay, first up we have Natural Resource Department, Chauncey Means. Uh, good afternoon, Chairman McDonald and members of council. Uh, for those that do not know me, my name is Chauncey Means, Water Quality Administrator. Uh, this issue starts on page two of the packet. And I'm here, the department is seeking approval for three collection permits from the University of Montana's Flathead Lake Biological Station. The applications are on page three of the packet for the lakes, rivers and stream sampling on the reservation. Uh, page 23 for the AIS Quagga Zebra Mussel sampling on the Flathead Lake and other lakes on the reservation. And on page 37 for education and outreach sampling at the biological station at Yellow Bay. Um, the department has granted these collection permits prior years and has helped the biological station conduct sampling on the reservation. And I believe on the call is Tyler Toppenbach who is a research scientist from the biological station if you guys have any questions regarding these applications. And I'm not sure if we can uh, approve all three or we have to go individually. But if you have any questions. Which is question, Chauncey, and the, uh, the ones in the restricted access areas like the primitive area, are um, tribal staff gonna accompany the research folks. County, if I might interject. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the Tribal Council. Thank you for allowing me to participate today. Um, those are included in the event that we were working with, um, you know, tribal biologists, ecologists, and had some interest in going to those sections. We don't actively go into those primitive areas. I know that uh, Dr. Elster and one of his graduate students did go the Lake of the Clouds, I think two years ago, but um, we don't actively work in there. And of course we would not go up there without the approval of the tribal council or working with Chauncey. Thank you. Any questions about the scientific collection permits? Uh, three requests, they have been normally uh, granted. Uh, we've utilized a lot of the data that Yellow Bay has collected in the past. Uh, BAS items are pretty critical for Flathead Lake. Go ahead, Martin. Thank you, Mr. Chair, <clears throat> Chauncey, uh, Tyler. I would make the motion. I don't know if we do need to do them individually. Um, we'll approve all three at the same time for the collection permits. Um, I appreciate you guys, uh, what you're doing. I listened to a presentation that people from your office did, um, I believe for the Kootenai Culture Committee, and very thorough, very informative. I'm going to Hopefully track you guys down and have you come to one of my a district meeting down the road. So thank you. Oh, we'd love that. Yeah, no problem. Just let us know. Motion by Martin to approve the three scientific collection permits. Second by Mike. Any further discussions? 
Seeing none, uh, take a show of hands for those uh, in favor of the scientific collection permits. Okay, unanimous. Thank you, Chauncey. Thank you, Tyler. You know, Tyler, you're on the hook now. You'd be coming to a Pablo district meeting. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Um, yeah, just let us know and, and uh, we can talk about uh, whatever you guys like that we have data for. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Council. Yep, thank, thank you, you Chauncey. Okay, next is CT. I see him in the room. Come on up, CT. Good afternoon. All right, I've been sent up here. I got three capital expenditures that Division of Fire would like to purchase in the next month or so. Um, I'll start with mine. mine. I got critical needs money last summer to buy a vehicle. Um, my program only is funded for two vehicles and we have three you know, employees. Um, in the past, two people used to ride together, but it, you know, that was years ago before I was in this pro program and all three of us go different ways. So I've been, uh, I latched onto a vehicle in 2018. Well, that's taking all my supply and my miscellaneous money to pay for that extra vehicle. So I got on the critical needs list and got approved for $40,000 to buy a vehicle. And um, Suze Palmer, she is working on getting me one from Dave Smith. Uh, Fuels purchased one there two weeks ago. Um, they're hard to come by right now. I'm sure you all know that. And it's on the lot and ready. So hopefully this week we can go over and grab it. Second <clears throat> is also critical needs money that Ron Swaney put in for, for a boat for the river. So a flat boat to get firefighters across, you know, when there's fires on each side in those islands. In the past, we've used either fishing games or natural resources. And sometimes it takes four to six hours to get that boat to the river, you know, finding someone to operate it and get it across. And, you know, by that time, the fire could be doing, you know, who knows what. Um, last year we lucked out, Craig Pablo was in the area and he let us use his boat and Ron find a way to pay him to do that during the sinkhole fire. And um, CT, is that a jet boat? Jet no, boat? Um, no, just a flat boat, you know, just something with a, you know, maybe a 20 horsepower motor. So it's going to be a prop motor? Yes. Ah, you know, don't hold me to that. That's just what they've been talking about. Money is for a trailer, boat, motor. I would just recommend that if you get a regular outboard that you put a jet boot on it. Yes. <laughs> and get rid of the propeller, otherwise you're going right. to run into problems. Yeah, it gets pretty shallow. Especially for you in fire suppression, trying to get the places you want to go. Yep. You'd want to not have a, a propeller. You'd want an inboard uh, jet booter or, or yes. a regular jet boat. Yep. Correct. And we brought that up to Ron. You know, just hopefully, you know, the powers that be that are going to choose this boat will choose right. <clears throat> Third is Hell Attack. Uh, Todd wasn't able to make it. He's doing the prescribed burn with fuels today. And he has carryover money from last year, and he would like to also get rid of his GSA vehicles and get another through critical needs and get put on the BIA replacement list along with a UTV and trailer. So the money for the Helitech uh, vehicle is not there. You have to still. It's there. It's carryover from last year that he's been approved to use for this. Any uh, questions for CT on uh, three requests for capital equipment? Motion by Bing to approve the request for the three capital equipment purchases. Second by Martin. Any further discussion? All those in favor, show of hands. Unanimous. Thank you, CT. Tony, have anything to say? No, uh, sorry. Uh, I was just going to say that this is all BIA funded. Um, and it's all it's all fun money coming down from from BIA for these purchases. It's not using tribal funds for purchases. But I, I thought you were alluding, starting to allude to that, Tom. So I was trying to to. Uh, give some insight on it. 
Oh, no, thanks, Tony. You know, I, I misunderstood what CT was saying. I thought they were still applying for the money for... Oh. for <clears throat> no, we were approved last summer for the boat and for my vehicle. And then Todd's is carry over from the BIA funds for his program. Thank you. All right. Go ahead, Martin. Um, just <clears throat> probably a plug, probably not necessarily even you, just generally for the tribe. I think we should... No, they're more expensive, but start looking at you know electric fleet vehicles. Um, I know we put a lot of miles on on our vehicles, and they're necessary. But if we can start down the road, you know, go electric as much as we can, um, I think that yeah, there has been some agencies that have went that way, and they're having problems right now. Yeah, just being able to you know recharge them. And I think it was the Forest Service, maybe. Go ahead, Carol. Yeah, I really like the advertisement that you had up last year and I noticed it's still up and I'm not sure if you have to redo that or if it's gonna be taken down, but I think that's a good idea to put that reward out there of people starting fires. And the wee tip, yeah, the wee tip hotline. Yes, definitely for this summer. We'll keep it up. Was that? Mr. Chair, that was Rob's. That Rob kind of did that. Yeah, Rob so, and I, Rob and I got together, and then it was tribal funds that did it. It didn't have to come out of the prevention. Because I, I mean, I, I don't know if we're still paying for that one, but if we could just pay for the starting now, because last year we got on it real late. It was late. Yep. And by the time we got it up, <laughs> so it, it, having it through the winter is, is is yeah not as effective. Right. And but, there's there's another one up in South. I know that um, I think I took a motion last time to do, um, but I think we definitely, if there's not funding available, we'd be we okay. definitely want to support. I'll that. find out who Rob talked to on that that end. I loved it because it didn't come out of my budget. All right, CT. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put another plug in. I, I Martin brought that up, so um, I think the limiting factors for it depends on the vehicle you get. <laughs> but you can put in your own charging station for vehicles. And so it depends on what you want. But the, the four F-150 pickups that are electric mm -hmm. are really nice. Okay. They're really outstanding vehicles. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they're on their own power plant. They're, I, if I was a construction foreman, if I was building houses, I'd have one of those. Okay. Um, if I was at a fire camp, I'd have one of those. So it really depends on what, what you need it for. But I think what you guys are are role models. You know, you really are. Um, your whole your whole program, Tony and everybody in Forestry Yard. So what we really need to do is lead by demonstration. So if there's even if it's just one vehicle you can buy for your department okay. or division, you know, as, as a starting point, I would really encourage you to do that. Um, yeah, I'll talk to Daryl. He's getting like six vehicles. Okay. He, he's purchased one already. And he, his program is kind of... <clears throat> You know, being the yeah, a lot of these you gotta you gotta order them ahead of time, oh, so yeah. it takes time to get them. They're having a hard time finding them. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that's why we're all the way over to Dave Smith at this point. Yeah. But I, I'll I'll plug the uh, Ford F one fifty any day. That's a great vehicle. It really <laughs> is. It's better than the car I bought. I just couldn't get one. Thank you, CT. Thank okay. you, Tony. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you. All right, next we have Brian Upton and Brian Miller. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the council. I, I know that uh, we just wanted to get in front of you and provide some information on the annexation process for tribal track 4242, um, which is the 79 acre plot right outside of the uh, city of Paulson that the tribe uh, approved to annex or submit annexation paperwork. Um, and I know, um, and I don't, Janet, you know, feel free to jump in, but I, I know that there's, we received a 76 page um, packet from the city of Paulson just last week, and um, I think collectively we've been looking through it, and uh, Janet has some uh, issues that need to be re um, brought back to the city, and I think Brian has some concerns. So 
Does that fairly summarize it, Jen? Uh, Brian and um, Janet, Troy, uh, and both Brian's, is this, is this something you want to go into executive session for or not? I need to ask. Hi, Chairman McDonald. This is something we recommended for executive, yes. 